I just want to make one point clear. Other urban explorers will not tell you the locations that they go to. They will not tell you where their buildings are or how to access the building. Just because of the one reason of vandals. But guys, vandals are actually our angels in disguise. They break their way into these buildings. We just follow them in. Like, they are our angels in disguise. Yo guys, what is going on? It is your girl here. Welcome back to another video. Today's video, we are going over the question that I've been asked every single day for the last couple of months, guys. How do you guys find abandoned places and how do you become an urban explorer? So I'm going over today, guys, top five simple ways to find abandoned places. I am just showing you tips and tricks on how to find the abandoned places that you guys can go and look for. These guys are simple, these are easy. These are the first steps that I took into looking at abandoned places. But before we go onto this video can you all go down below and hit that subscribe button to help my channel grow guys without further ado guys let's get into this so the first tip I have for you guys is go to social media go to Facebook go to Twitter go online guys Instagram join some forums that are basically for urban explorers you will find a lot of locations there people don't like sharing locations on social media for the fact that they don't want arsons to go there they don't want people who's gonna go steal stuff to go there but you will find the odd one or two places that have shared the location but you can also gain friends there who are also into the same kind of thing in your local area that you can join along and go to these places where you have to build your trust up in, in these forums guys when I first started guys I went to Facebook I asked people on Facebook I asked my friends my family on Facebook if they know anywhere and I also asked the forums that I was in guys it's a good place to go to it's a good place to always have as well because I'm still on the forums and I still look daily on where to go guys so on the note of forums guys the second thing you can do which I still do to to this day is go to a web page called 28 days later I will link it down below guys 28 days later is a online Google forum of people who has been to explore in places will put up pictures videos and their story of what happened when they went there it is a really good one guys and there are tons and tons and tons of urban places on there that you can have a look at there are places like all around the world it's not just in the UK guys you will get places on there that are old so they might not still be there you will get places that are new you can search your locations you can message people you can gain friends there it's always good to post out to these places to try and get people to come along with you to try it try and tag along with other people because you don't want to go to these places alone but 28 days later is a really really good site to go to when you're wanting to get into urban exploring get a load of stuff out this site guys and it's a really really good thing to go to Number three, guys, is the one you have to have patience for and the one that takes the longest to actually do. So Google Maps, guys. Google Maps is so handy when it comes to stuff like this. If you go onto one of these forums, find somewhere that you know, some sort of area that you live in that you know, and just drive around on Google Maps, walk around on Google Maps, or just aerial zoom it, and you can look down and see which places are abandoned. It's a really handy thing to have, guys. So it's a really good go-to. I use it. I know a lot of other urban explorers use it and it's really really helpful number four guys is drive around your city and your area so just like Google Maps but in real life so you get in your car and you actually drive around now I know this takes you know this takes time you gotta use petrol and stuff like that guys but I don't mean just get in your car and drive around and look for abandoned places when you go shopping or when you go out for a car drive or when you just go anywhere in your car just keep your eyes open for abandoned places you know you can stop there and have a scout around don't go in the places until you know that it's safe to do so you will find abandoned places driving around <laughs> So number five guys, last but not least, use your best friend. And I don't literally mean your human best friend. I mean Google guys, use Google, use YouTube. What I mean by that guys is go to Google, type into Google, I don't know if you live in where I live, Swansea, go to Google and type in urban exploring Swan, abandoned building Swansea. You've got news articles, you've got people on forums, different forums that I haven't even mentioned. And it'll come up on pages after pages after pages on people who have done buildings in these areas. The amount of times I accidentally said the locations in the video or the amount of times I've actually like just like basically shown you where the locations are guys it's unreal I am not telling you guys in any way how like where to actually go I'm telling you guys on how to find your own locations in this video so I do hope you enjoy guys this is a video that I get asked to make like nearly every other day on get asked questions I get inboxes after inboxes how do you find these places that you go to and guys it takes time, it takes patience, it takes practice. Once you've covered your whole area, you have to go out 
and then that's when it starts getting complicated because you don't want to travel miles and miles to be hit with a building that you cannot get into I've done it guys it sucks so just do your research find these locations beforehand if you find a location Google it do some research on it and make sure it's still banned and find the newest kind of videos the newest kind of pictures off the building to see if you can still gain access guys so please just do your research guys and if you are finding these places to go and destroy please don't because like people like us guys we go there for the buildings we go there for the history of the places we go there for the just the building itself are amazing so we do not like going to these places and it's destroyed guys that just takes the whole booty out of the places so if you do guys find any locations let me know if this video does help you let me know and I do hope this video does help you but if it does guys I look forward to hearing about all your urban exploring stories so yeah guys I hope you enjoy this video I will see you all in the next video hopefully my next video will be an urban exploring video I haven't been out in quite a while to urban um, it's it's been Christmas, the weather has been absolutely terrible where I live. I hope to see you all soon guys. Let me know if this video does help you. Please hit that subscribe button to help me grow. Please hit that like button to show that you liked this video and I'll make more videos like this. Like I'll do tips and tricks on how, what you need to do to start. I'll do tricks, trips and tips and all sorts of urban exploring stuff. But yeah, I'll see you all soon guys. It's been your girl and peace.